What's up everybody, it's Frank from 5AM Ramen and I am in Fukuoka today and we're visiting some of the oldest Fukuoka ramen shops. We're talking about ramen shops that are historically important and loved by locals. This part of Japan is all about pork bone ramen. That is naturally our focus today. Let's dive into these Fukuoka ramen shops beginning now. If you like ramen or want to learn more about ramen, you've come to the right place. 5AM Ramen is your dedicated ramen channel. I'm your ramen host, Frank, born and raised in Tokyo. I've eaten thousands of bowls of ramen up to now. Today, we're in Fukuoka City, Fukuoka, on the island of Kyushu. And I'm introducing to you the finest historical, oldest ramen shops in Fukuoka City. And if we're talking about historical ramen shops, this of course means pork bone ramen or tonkotsu ramen. That's pretty much all they eat around here. So while our focus is on ramen restaurants that have a history that have been around for a long time, this really also is a best of Fukuoka ramen list as well. And let's go. Our first ramen shop is Akanoren Setchan since 1946. I'm ordering their cha shumen, which includes seven slices of soft pork cha shu. For the soup, they boil pig skin, back trotters, head, all for 16 plus hours. This creates a porky porky soup, but one that's brown latte-ish in color, thanks to the soy sauce they use as a seasoning. It's rumored that nearby university students back in the day saw this shop's red light bulbs outside and started calling the place Akanoren. So my experience at Akanoren, it was delicious of course. I ordered the chashumen, which means extra meat. And it was quite a bit of meat. I think there were seven slices in total and they weren't all showing up on the top there. So I just kept finding extra as the meal went on. The noodles are quite unique. They're even thinner than the typical tonkotsu ramen noodles, and they're also quite flat. This is their signature. In addition to that, the broth was a little bit milky, but I would say more salty because of that soy sauce and also a little bit more fatty. Definitely a fatty broth, fatty and delicious. Now to bring down some of that fattiness, what I did is put in bini shoga, basically pickled red ginger inside. That is a nice way to end the meal. But it's funny, I kind of ran out of noodles before I put in the bini shoga. So I was just like having a red colored uh, soup and adding them with the pork chashu there. Akanoren does not disappoint. And with a history going back to the late 1940s, you can certainly understand why they're still around. Next up is Fukuchan. This one is a bit outside of Fukuoka city, but totally worth visiting. You can hop on the Nanakuma line to Kamo Station, and it's a short walk from here. And it turns out that friend and fellow ramen hunter Brian was in Fukuoka at the exact same time. So we decided to team up and visit Fukuchan together. So on my way now to Fukuchan with Kay, Yay. who's friends with Brian from Ramen Adventures. <laughs> and we are hitting up Fukuchan. They started in 1976. You can feel this history inside and outside Fukuchan. We'll talk about this a little bit more later. When you arrive, you jot your name down on a sheet outside and when it's your turn, they call you in. In their signature ramen, they blend two soups together, adding a newer, sharper soup to a heavier one. Preparing the soup takes two full days and they like their garlic in the soup here too. After our wait to get inside and eating the ramen itself, here's our recap of Fukuchan. I ordered their cha shumen, by the way, getting extra pork slices just like at Akanoren earlier. And we are having a apple juice here. There we go, crush it just like the ramen we just had. Anything that stood out. I like the soup was a little sweet. It had that sort of perfect consistency. The epitome of Akata Tonkotsu ramen. The stern face of the person preparing the ramen, but he, he was a nice guy, of course. Three of us were like, okay, like, can we take a photo? We're right there at the counter, but we asked. He was like, oh yeah, sure. And then after that, it was pretty much open season. We all took out our cameras and cell phones to watch him. If you do get a counter seat, it's a lot of fun, of course, to watch them work. There was an old lady over there also hunched in the back, you know, just part of the process. Exactly, the grandma making the wontons there. Uh, we didn't get the wontons or dumplings, but um, yeah, I'm sure if we were back, uh, those would be awesome as well. 
just a layer of black grease over everything inside the shop, above yeah. the cooking area. You had all these statues that were just <laughs> coated in grease, man. It was awesome. Uh, I love it. The old atmosphere is so perfect. Right. Waiting even, there's that anticipation, kind of like here at a ramen Disneyland. And then uh, once you're in, of course, Disneyland itself, taking in everything, the old school vibe, the old staff that are working there, and then the ramen itself. When it comes, it's very special. So Fukuchan, a great historical ramen shop here in uh, Fukuoka. Here's another historically important Fukuoka ramen shop, Hakuryuken. They've been around since 1952, and this is something you definitely get a sense of on the inside too. Their tonkotsu ramen is simple but delicious. Not that heavy either. I talk more about Hakuryuken in another Fukuoka ramen video. Feel free to check out that one as well. The same evening, we grabbed some yatai or food stall ramen at Nagahama Tomochan. Fukuoka is one of the few places in Japan where this food stall culture still thrives. I'd say more than the ramen, it's really about enjoying the environment. There's nothing quite like it. Drinks, ramen, and other types of food are commonly served at these yatai or food stalls. And a lot of famous ramen shops in Fukuoka had their start as food carts or food stalls. So there's definitely historical importance here too. The following day, I grabbed some warm up breakfast and all of us decide to visit Anzen Shokudo, another legendary must visit ramen shop that's outside the city center. Further west than Fukuchan, Brian and Kay are kind enough to drive us there. In the car now and visiting historical ramen shop Anzen Shokudo. The story goes that uh, the owner there, he actually uh, was a salary man, just your everyday worker, and he was inspired to open up his own ramen shop uh, back in the day. Their ramen is supposed to be on the lighter side. Of course, pork bone ramen, we're in Fukuoka, but a lighter, let's say, pork bone ramen. But this doesn't mean it's any less delicious. Whereas Fukuchan was dark and greasy, both the ramen and the inside of the shop, Anzen Shokuro's ramen and its interior is brighter and more polished. Expect a line outside, but it moves quickly as they have a lot of space on the inside. We got seated at a nice big table and I ordered the regular ramen since we're also grabbing some other dishes, including chahan or fried rice and the champon, another ramen-like dish. And here's me diving into their signature ramen. Okay, here we go. That's so good. You've got that pork bone flavor, but it's still very light and delicate. And there's, I don't know, it's really like clean taste, I think you could say. Very clear soup. Not as messy as I think a lot of the other bowls have had up to now. But even though it's clear and quite delicate, it's still packed with flavor. Delicious. Now we're gonna add some of the Benny Shoga or pickled red ginger. What's cool about this place is they actually have them in like buckets on the tables and on the counters, like actual buckets, massive, massive buckets too. I feel like I might've put in too much of the Benny Shoga, but maybe it was because of the bucket and that wide mouth at the top there. I feel like the ratio of Benny Shoga to noodles is almost, here we go with those Benny Shoga. Don't think I've ever had any bad Benny Shoga, but these of course are great. We've got the uh, chashu pork. Mm. Nice and fatty. Just finished up at Anzen Shokudo. This place really stood out. It was a lot of fun. The interior was very old school. You had an older team there in the kitchen. They've been doing the same thing for years and years. You could feel the history. Now, as to the ramen itself, of course, it was delicious. It was on the lighter side, but that doesn't mean it wasn't packed with flavor. It was. You had nice fresh green negi on there, soft chashu, and also bini shoga, buckets of it on the table. On top of that, we as a group also got uh, some fried rice or chahan and also shared a bowl of uh, champon. Now, champon is from Nagasaki. They actually boiled the noodles in the soup and it features a lot of vegetables and some seafood toppings too. Had a nice creaminess there. Whereas those noodles in the tonkotsu ramen were super thin, champon noodles here were thicker, they normally are, and much softer. Great experience and a wonderful example of historical Fukuoka ramen shops. 
So for our next historical Fukuoka ramen shop, we're visiting Hachan. They actually are open only at night. And for the next historical ramen shop, we're going to be visiting Ichiran. Now Ichiran, of course, is well known around the world. Way back in my 5 a.m. ramen days, Ichiran was a bowl that I often had after a night out on the town. A lot of their shops are 24 hours. I'm going to be taking you to their headquarters. I have been to their headquarters, but this was many, many years ago. So it'll be nice to revisit that and also have a bowl of Ichiran, which I haven't enjoyed in a long time. So I'm gonna wait for the sun to set here, grab some dinner at those two spots, maybe reminiscent of my 5 a.m. ramen days. Although now that I am no spring chicken anymore, I'll be doing it much earlier. Since 1968, Hachan has been a popular late night ramen spot, and they're one of my absolute favorites in Fukuoka city. Their 100% pork bone broth is on the greasy side. However, the sweetly flavored soy sauce seasoning shines through it like a bright beacon. Enjoy the buckets of benishoga that they have, just like at Anzen Shokudo. After Hachan, I go immediately to Ichiran headquarters. It almost looks like a tower you'd see as the last stage of some video game with a big kind of pig boss at the very top. While Ichiran has indeed grown to become somewhat of a giant of a ramen company, they do have a history. And that's why we're including them. And I'm also gonna do a separate standalone video of me visiting Ichiran headquarters. Keep an eye out for this one. After finishing my bowl at Ichiran, I drag myself back to my hotel, recapping both Hachan and Ichiran. Historical ramen shop number, I have lost track. You can go in, the place is kind of falling apart. The menu on the wall is as faded as could be. It's really narrow, just one long counter. I was there with maybe just two other customers. It was just a lot of fun being inside there. Now the ramen itself was delicious. This was definitely up there. I think one of the best bowls I had here in Fukuoka. Just sweet enough. You're going through the soup there and you can uh, taste that seasoning from time to time. And it was a pretty fatty, oily soup. But again, that seasoning in there was like a little beacon of light and it provided a really nice taste. And the funny thing was that it literally came out in like 10 seconds. I feel like I just ordered the ramen and then I turn around or I look to the side and then there's the ramen. Now Ichiran, Ichiran is Ichiran, well known around the world. I think a lot of tourists, this will be their introduction to Tokyo ramen, technically not a Tokyo ramen style, maybe their first bowl I should say in Japan. Ichiran of course is Ichiran and more power to them, they've done well. You can understand the appeal. It's a lot of fun just to go in there. You know you're gonna get what you're gonna get. For lack of a better reference point, there are a lot of fast food chains where it's the same thing, right? It's that consistency you come to know and love. And the customization is always fun. There is this sort of aura, I think, surrounding the tower. And it couldn't be more of a contrast from the other uh, places that I've visited here in Fukuoka. I hope you all enjoyed this historical slash oldest restaurant serving ramen in Fukuoka video. And if that's the case, please hit that like button. Please consider subscribing as well. Now this is the only place in the world here in Japan where you can have awesome ramen at 5 a.m. Ichiran an example of that. Thanks for tuning in.